happy today I am drinking vanilla chai tea in my so yeah it's a front my Mississippi mug um this is my go-to tea because it is both strong but tasty so yeah but I thought you should know that I have finally made my own country playlist because on my way to and from work, I'd be listening to the country radio station that you actually, like, set on my car. And I had nowhere to put the songs that I liked, because I kept hearing them, and I'm like, oh, that is such a good song, and then I could never remember what song it was afterwards. And so now I finally have a place to store all of them. So yes, <laughs> thank you. On an entirely different note, I remember you addressing the topic of where is home on one of your older videos, and I wanted to readdress it in mine today because it is something that has been stressing me out a lot lately, and I haven't been able to get off my mind. As you know, I had lived in the same house for basically my entire life up until this past December when my family decided to pack up and move just a town over, so it wasn't even that far. But I've come to realize that this house that I am now in lacks that comfort feeling of what I would call home, and I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's because it doesn't share the same memories of tragedies and joys that my old house gained throughout my childhood. The old house was almost like a friend to me. It was, it witnessed m my most difficult times and it was there for me when I needed a place to hide from reality. It was truly my place of comfort, somewhere I could fully relax in, a place that I could just let the masks of day-to-day -day life slip away. And after I moved and realized that this new house doesn't have that same embrace, it worries me that I'll never find it again. Will anything truly feel like home? I've heard people talking about falling in love and fearing that they'll never find anything like it again and I've never understood that until now. And it might sound a bit crazy and maybe even a tad silly, but that undefinable sense of comfort that I lost in the move, I worry that it is gone forever. That I'll never be able to grow roots that deep again. It's like nowhere is permanent anymore and it leaves me feeling a bit numb and even lost. I actually had a stress dream about this two nights ago. In the dream, I had been missing my old home, and so my family packed up the one we just moved into and moved into one that looked like my old house. It was even in the same neighborhood and just down the street. <laughs> but going into it, I realized how much I had idealized it, when in reality, the house didn't meet any of my expectations. The carpet was old and stained, the walls were odd colors, the windows were smaller, and the backyard had barely any room. In the dream, I also saw how my family had outgrown it. The dogs lacked space to run, and when walking around the downstairs, it felt stale and constricted. I was so stressed on how disappointing it ended up being that we bought something that didn't even fit our needs and now we had to live there. I even began missing the house we moved from, the one I originally felt lacked homeliness. I missed its tree line and all the land it had, and I even began missing my room there. After waking up, I was anxious the rest of the day, but as I nitpicked through what happened, I realized that by the end of the dream, I had a longing to return to the new home, even though I got what I wanted by moving back into my childhood house. It took me being away from it to understand that I actually wanted to go back to it. Even though it still didn't truly feel like home, or at least like the home that I grew up in, I still wanted to be back in it. Maybe that just shows how connections, whether with people or places, takes time to form. And often enough, it takes it being away for us to truly understand how much we actually held on to it. 
sorry that I have been slow to uploading my videos. I am trying to get through an unmotivated portion of my life and I get distracted very easily. But I hope you have enjoyed this one and I shall see you Monday. Also, I thought I should mention that the shirt I am wearing, Hank Green wore one in one of his videos. Okay, I love you. Bye.